Hey everybody, Teching here. Okay, so first thing regarding the title of the video, <laughs> it's not what you think. Um, I just did that just for the sake of, you know, it, it was in the chapter. And for those sick perverts out there, they're going to click on the video anyway. So in which case, thank you for your monetization profit. I'll just put that away in my back pocket. Thank you very much. You can head off to the internet land. Anyway, I got what I need. All right, so... Um, you know how I usually do those bullshit stories on this channel where I tell you guys like a 30 minute fucking story that doesn't lead anywhere. It just leads to me saying I made it all up. Well, that's because most of the time that stuff that happens in my life is not even close to being that interesting. Today being the exception. So with that being the case, allow me to regale you all with uh, an anthology story uh, revolving around my simple five hour shift today on a Sunday evening at Dollar Tree. Um, it's probably, actually, yeah, probably the most exciting day I've ever worked there. Just the most eventful, I should say. Most eventful after two and a half years working there. Yeah, this is, this is probably the most eventful one. Okay, so first thing, in fact, the reason why I'm doing this mostly is because a lot of these center around anime for some reason. Living around here in the middle of fucking central Pennsylvania, out in the middle of the woods, not a lot of people around here, you know, know about anime, know about manga. So the, the odds of this happening like three times in one day is astounding to me. But first time, you know, it was about an hour into my shift. Uh, you know, I'm doing whatever with boxes and uh, a girl walks in and she's wearing a uh, Soul Eater t-shirt. And she's got her uh, little brother with her and they're, you know, going around they shop in the store and when she comes up to the register to check out I look at her and I'm like she she seems much younger I thought she was older at first but she seemed like probably like 15 16 years old so she goes up and as I, as I look up and I'm just like I mean I noticed her shirt earlier but you know whenever she was walking up I'm just like oh soul eater cool and she gives me this look like oh yeah my shirt thank you and then like but she didn't register it right away and I'm like okay whatever maybe she wasn't expecting me to know what the shirt was and um I think I think I said something along the lines of you know that that was a really good series, but the anime just the anime it was so close to having a good uh, ending or a good um, you know, finishing off like the connecting with the manga because the anime lasted like what like 51 episodes and it stopped about maybe around chapter 60 or something in the manga and the manga only lasted to like chapter 110. I mean granted they were long chapters but if the anime would have just kept going for like a little bit like maybe went on hiatus for a while and came back it could have been a great anime series. I didn't tell her all of this but I just basically said you know the anime kind of got you know messed up near the end and she's just like I, I, I actually haven't seen the show and I'm looking at her like what? You, you're you wearing the you've never seen the show you've, you have you like I so she had no idea what the manga was. She had no idea what the anime, you know, was. I, I don't know if that was just like a shirt, like a, like somebody gave her or something. But she left the store and I'm just like, whatever. Soul Eater not. <laughs> I felt so clever. <sighs> then I cried. No more than 30 minutes after Soul Eater not chick leaves, we get another guy coming in. And he is wearing, among all things, an Akatsuki cloak. Just as his casual wear, like a thing you would wear to a convention, like a cosplay. Like it wasn't like, I've seen them on the internet and they're actually kind of cool. They're uh, like hoodies or jackets that are designed with the, with the Akatsuki emblem with the red clouds. And they actually look pretty kick-ass. I'd like to have one. But uh, no, he was wearing a full body length Akatsuki cloak. Um, he kept it open. It wasn't closed, but it was a cloak. You could tell what it was. And uh, he was just wearing it around casually. Now, the guy himself, he looked like really long, black hair. Uh, he had, like, it was blonde at the top here, like his roots, so he dyed it. He was wearing glasses. He looked like the kind of, he looked like the kind of guy, I knew a guy like that in high school. His name was Joseph, and he was the kind of guy he would just sit in the back of the room. He was more of a, he was, I, I mean, I was pretty shy when I was in high school. This kid was a complete shut-in. He would be the kind of guy that just sits in the back of the room and just, you know, does whatever he does. And whenever he uh, had to speak in front of the class, it was like you needed a freaking, like, mega horn, you know, like, like the, in order to hear this kid. Like, just, you know, like, using this thing, he would be able to, like, go to, like, a audible, you know, frequency. Anything, like, his regular voice was much lower than that. So that's the kind of kid he reminded me of. It wasn't the same guy, though. So he comes up, and I'm thinking, okay, soul lead or not chick, you know, okay, maybe, you know, somebody gave her the shirt, maybe it was her sister's shirt, she's wearing it, just because she had nothing else to wear today. This guy is wearing a fucking Akatsuki cloak in, cl in public, all right? He must watch the damn show, at least, or at least do something involving, he must know what Naruto is. We can at least talk about that. So I'm wearing my bleach wristband, right? And there's a reason why I'm not wearing it right now. I'll get to that. Um, he comes up, 
And I'm looking at him, and I'm like, is there a freaking cosplay convention in town? Or is there an anime convention in town? He looks up at me like... And I'm like, because there, there was a girl in here earlier with a Soul Eater shirt. I didn't tell him about her betrayal, but he's like, there was a girl in here earlier with a Soul Eater shirt, and now you with the Akatsuki cloak. And he just kind of smiles, he's just like, he's like, tis the season. And I'm like, uh... And I, I say something like, oh, did you know the, uh, the Naruto manga is going to be ending in October? And he looked at me, he's like, really? I didn't know that. And I showed him my bleach. He's like, I got a bleach wristband. And he's like, oh, neat. Ring up his stuff. Pays for it. Walks out with his grandma. <laughs> I'm like, come on, people. <laughs> come on. I don't... I, the... the <laughs> Give me something to work with here. I I, I kind of feel like, like, I, am I just not getting it? You know, and, and like, is everybody, like, is this kid who loves Naruto, does he just have every other friend that loves Naruto and he talks to them about it and meeting somebody that likes Naruto is not, is just, is just common for him? Because it ain't fucking common for me, you know? I just don't go out in public and find people to talk to about anime. Whenever I do, I'm like, Gee, okay, did you see this? Did you like this? What'd you like about this? You know? You know, and I'm not even going that obsessive over him. You know, I'm not saying shit like, you know, who's your favorite character? What's your favorite jutsu? You come up to the manga? What do you think of Kagi? I'm not going, like, stage 10 Naruto on the kid. I'm just asking him, like, you know, like, basic shit about the series, you know? And he just didn't seem interested, and he just left. It's it's almost like he was walking out the house, and he's just like, what should I wear today? Should I wear the, should I wear the hoodie? Oh, it might rain. I gotta wear the Akatsuki cloak, you know? You know, I'm expecting if he would have walked in wearing like with the like the I'm, I'm assuming he was gonna cosplay as he as he Tachi or something. If he went he went blonde, he might have been able to pass his day Dara. But you know, when everyone cosplays as a Kotsuki, it's always a Tachi because he's freaking a Tachi. So you know, he walked in. Maybe you know he got Kakazu maybe because he had the long hair. Yeah, Kakazu. He was kind of pale too. Yeah, okay, fuck it. He was cosplaying as Kakazu. Um, but yeah, he just didn't seem interested at all. So whatever. Okay, so main focus of the story here. Um, this was much. This was much later. This was like th these two events with the anime people. This happened like within the first you know hour, hour and a half of my shift. Um, about maybe two hours into it, uh, actually no, no, it was more like three. Let's just say three hours. Um, it started to rain. And, uh, you know, it's raining outside, and it's not like a huge, it's a thunderstorm, there's lightning and thunder in the distance, but, you know, and there's rain, but it's nothing like huge, I mean, we're used to that. Um, I was outside spraying down the, 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 the windows, you know, cleaning the windows, and I'm just watching the lightning, as I like to do that. I, I, I get very calm by thunderstorms, I don't know about anyone else, but I get kind of relaxed by the sound of rain, and even the sound of thunder doesn't really bug me that much. So I'm, I'm out there, you know, cleaning out the windows, and uh, I head into the store. Now... Uh, I start sweeping the floor. Now, within a span of, like, five minutes, it goes from, like, a gentle summer storm to fucking Hurricane Katrina. Because I'm sweeping the floors, just doing whatever, and I hear the rain's picking up, and I look out the window just casually, and I have to do a double take, because the, the rain is now going sideways. Like, I, I don't know if, like, a massive gust just came in, because we went from, like, 20-mile-an-hour winds to, like, 75. Like, it's, like... Like, completely sideways. And the thing is, our, our store, you know, it has the front door, right? Well, oh, at the front door, there's, like, a little sidewalk area. And then above that's, like, a roof. So, like, it's, like, an extending roof to kind of, like, cover this entire plaza. So, um, on that little sidewalk, though, we have these uh, two little dolly things. They're called U-boats, where we put, like, like our sidewalk stuff out. Like, we put, like, the summer stuff out there, like, boogie boards and, and basically, like, water guns and everything, like, like summer stuff. And on one of the U-boats, there were two of them. One of them was, uh, like, about five or six boxes full of, of swimming noodles. Uh, you know those noodle things you, you put in the swimming pool, you know, like that kind of stuff? You hit people with them, you know? Um, so, yeah, those were out there. So I look out the window, and one of the U-boats, they're on, they're, they're, they're on, I mean, they're heavy, so so like a gentle breeze won't, you know, send them flying. But if it's, you know, blowing like that freaking, you know, all, all of a sudden, they start heading down. And the wind was so strong, it was knocking them over. The freaking noodles were flying out. We're talking like anywhere from 20 to 30 to 40 noodles in this entire U-boat just flying across, like flopping around the freaking parking lot. So the second I see that, I drop my mop and I'm like, oh, shit. And I just boom out the freaking window. At, not the freaking window. I, well, I was about to because I like open the door and I'm just like, I step out into a freaking, like, freaking hurricane, tornado, whatever the hell it was. You know, I, I get drenched with, like, as soon as I step out the window. I keep saying window, door. 
And uh, so I start picking up all the boxes. There's like five or six boxes of like boogie boards and squirt guns and and uh, and just assorted swimming wear that I'm picking up and I'm tossing into the. I'm just throwing it into like the little the little ante room we have. It's like you open a door and then like there's a little enclosure and then there's like the main st the, the main store door. So I'm just chucking them into that little side room. And uh, and um, there was a girl there. There was a lady that was my friend's uh, mom that I knew. Uh, her name was Lori, and uh, she was helping me. We just like grabbing like like can you hurry? Can you help me grab? this shit so i'm i'm just thrown in there she's sorting it all out i'm going out into the parking lot i am getting fucking soaked like holly bell is raping me sideways and uh and uh yeah so i i finally get all the stuff in and i saved all the noodles i don't know how i managed to do that there was like 30 of them just flying around the, the sidewalk and out in the parking lot i managed to get them all and in the middle of this like i can barely see it's so freaking like it's blowing so freaking fast the wind is so freaking strong um, so I finally get back into the store and I, 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 I stand there and I am soaked to the fucking bone. I am like, you know, like underwear, socks, shoes, all freaking uh, like soaked, gone. And uh, my hair, you know, my hair is freaking, you know, like pounded down and blown in one direction. Um, yeah, so it, like freaking Holly Bell, man, freaking Holly Bell. She shoved a lot gota up my ass that today. That one. Mm. So... Um, while this was all going on, my boss uh, was in the office, and the office is in the front of the store. It's not. It's not in the. Uh, it's not in the back or anything. It's in the front of the store, and she didn't hear any of this. You know, every time I like grab noodles and throw them in, like more stuff gets flying around. You know, I'm like that movie Twister. I keep shouting profanities. I'm like, oh shit, that's over there. Oh fuck, that's over. God damn it, I can't catch all this crap. You know, I felt like I was playing some really. I felt like I was in like some game you'd be playing on like your iPhone or something, some app. You know, I was like, oh, go, 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 gotta catch this, gotta catch this, gotta catch this. I felt like I was like being played by, you know, like like Poseidon was royally pissed off at me, and he's just like, whoa, ho, ho, ho. you know, like in that story where um I think it was uh it was was it Jason and the Golden Fleece or was it uh no I think it was, I forget what it was called in, in Roman mythology where you know they're heading toward one island, they're going home to Troy, and Poseidon just gets pissed off at them halfway and just decides to throw them to Circe's island, and Circe is not very fun. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, um, I, I come back in though and my boss is still in the, in the office. She didn't hear anything and I'm dripping wet and I just, I casually just, I, I collect myself. I just casually walk over to her door on the office and I'm just like, just knock on the door and she opens it and she sees me standing there completely drenched. And she has this look of just complete and utter confusion confusion in its purest form because she's used to working with me she's used to all the crazy shit i do you know just in general but this was something she did not even expect and she's looking at me and after like five or ten seconds of just looking at me she's just like why are you drenched with water why are you drenched or something like that and i'm just like why did you not see or hear the fucking cat six hurricane going out the front door in front of our windows and she's like i heard it was raining harder raining harder that is not freaking raining harder of course by this point the gust had subsided so now it's just casually back to a summer nice summer storm it was like it was like for that one brief like five minutes it was like on level of like a hurricane it was blowing that fast it was just a gust or something but for those five minutes it was it was pretty destructive if that had continued we'd be in for some major hurting mm. so i'm sitting there completely drenched but uh, luckily, I'm prepared for this stuff. I'm like a Boy Scout. I'm like, that's okay. I got extra clothes and everything in my car. We'll be okay. So after the rain, after the rain subsides, I'm still here. I'm dripping wet. We have not. We have no towels or anything. We're a freaking dollar store. We have paper towels. I was d drying myself off with paper towels and take my shoes off because my shoes are completely soaked. I'm trying to dry them off a little bit. I'm walking around with wet socks all over the place, like walking around the store. The customers that were in the store, by the way, did not give a shit. Like I'm outside. I'm jumping around like the freaking like Sonic the Hedgehog, trying to grab all these freaking things, swearing my eye swearing my head off and the only thing that Lori was helping me but that was the only person like everybody else in the store was just like oh my god do I want this do I need this oh shit fuck damn I'm like what was this? it's like honey do you think I need any of these you know they were completely completely they didn't even give a shit they, 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 they can't tell me they didn't hear me of course they freaking heard me whatever so, um, she goes out, my boss goes out to my car for me. She gets all the stuff, you know, she gets my clothes and, uh, I, it's been like a couple of months since I packed that stuff in my car. So I didn't, I f completely forgot what I put in there. Apparently my past self was not very clever when packing emergency stuff in case I needed extra clothing. I packed... Um, two t-shirts, one of them being my work shirt, two pairs of jeans, one of them being my work jeans, pair of shorts, another, uh, a long sleeve shirt, 
a wool cap, a strobe light, a extra watch, and a, oh, there was something else stupid in there, a comb. I remember to pack a comb so I could comb my hair, but no socks and no underwear. So, you know, that was, um, yeah, that was really fun of him considering I was completely drenched from head to toe. Um, so yeah, that was a, that was a fun, I'm not going to tell you what happened after that, but let's just mean to say I, I got dressed from what little I had to work with there. I, I didn't have any socks the rest of the night. I just wore my shoes because my socks, it's, it's, it's like, you can't wear wet socks. You ever wear drenched wet socks? You, you can't do it. It's, it's completely miserable. So uh, not to mention it's cold. It's like air conditioned in my store. So I was freezing. I'm probably going to wake up with a freaking cold tomorrow. But, um, yeah, so that was just a fun thing to talk about all night. You know, I'm sitting there, you know, like I'm telling my boss this and she's just, she's having a blast. She's just like, I didn't, I didn't hear you at all out there. It's like, it's like, well, it's funny. And I'm like, he's like, oh, it's like, well, good thing. And you didn't hear it. Cause you'd be out helping me. And like, then I'd see like wet t-shirt contest, you know, whatever. Oh, uh, anyway, uh, last part of the story. So to close out the nights, uh, me being, you know, me wearing like just miserable all night because even though I, I cleaned up, my shoes are still soaked, you know, so I'm not a very having, I'm not having a very nice night. Um, were the last people to come into the store, the last uh, group of people, it was a family of a mother, I had a father, sister, and a, and a brother. And the brother was like only about like 10 or 11 years old. He walked in, he was reading a manga. And I didn't recognize the manga at first until he got up to the counter and I, I saw the title of it. It was called Nora. I have never heard of this before, but the cover looked sort of like, I didn't get a good look at the cover, but it kind of looked like a sports manga. It looked two characters that were dressed in kind of like sports attire. So I just kind of looked at him, just like, oh, is that a sports manga? And this kid's 11 or 12. I expected him because kids love talking about that shit. A kid came in one time looking at Dragon Ball Z trading cards, and I talked about Dragon Ball Z with the kid. This kid, eyes lit up like, holy crap, he knows about Dragon Ball Z. We we're talking about Cell. He's like, did you see up to the Cell Saga? I'm like, hell yeah, I saw the Cell Saga. I saw the Cell Saga before you, you, your eyes laid on that DBZ Kai crap before DBZ Kai was even a thing. I saw the original Cell Saga, you know, or that episode where, um, where uh, Goku learns how to drive a car. I think that's Android Saga, but, you know, whatever. So kids love talking about this shit. I talked about Ben 10 with kids before. This kid comes up, and I'm like, I just look down. And it's like, is that, a, is that a sports manga you're reading? And the mom immediately turns to the kid. Mom is immediately like, oh, he complimented your book. And I'm like, I'm looking at the kid, and the kid's just like, yeah, it's, it's called Nora. And then once again, just checks out, just leaves. And I even said, I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of a manga anime geek myself. And the kid's just like, uh huh, that's, that's nice, whatever. I'm like, does every anime fan around this area have to be a complete just shut in, just like doesn't want, either doesn't know what they're doing, like Soul Eater Not Chick, or just doesn't want any interaction with anybody else? I don't care if you watch Naruto 2. You know, that's my thing. Just let me wear my Akatsuki cloak, dude. I don't want to talk about Naruto with you. Bye. I want to talk about it, you know, with myself and just the people on my blogs. So let me ask you something right now. If if you're lucky enough to live in an area where multiple people like about manga and someone comes up to you and starts talking to you with interest, like if you're wearing like a bleach t-shirt or some shit and they come up to you and start talking about bleach, please give them interest because they are me. They feel, they, they are how I feel about that situation. You know, they're, they're, they, they just want to have a conversation about something because not a lot of people know about this stuff. Just give them a couple, just like ask them who their favorite character is. Ask them if they've read the manga. Ask them what their, what their favorite arc is, you know, or what, where they're up to in the manga or anime. And even if they don't, even if they're completely behind, even if you meet a guy that likes bleach and he's just like oh yeah i haven't i haven't i i i saw the soul society arc and that was like you know 10 years ago just talk about the soul society arc then you know just talk about something because we're we're a dying breed there's not many of us around here in this area anyway but anyway that was my day probably not as exciting as those bullshit stories i told but that's that's what happened to me today and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed uh i'm gonna go and, and probably just pass out on and just go to sleep because you know um, it took me a lot of energy just and a lot of caffeine just to get up here and tell you this story. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Dougie101, signing out.